Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to be installing Homepage on Portainer, uh, which is Stacks, and then it's Docker Compose underneath. So, a Homepage is a dashboard to where uh, you can uh, check, uh, have all your services on it with YAML configurations. So, we're going to be having a volume on there, and then you'll be able to edit your YAML uh, fi files through there. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over at Home Labs. So I'm going over installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. So, what Homepage is about, it's a modern, fully static, fast, secure, and fully proxied, a highly uh, customizable application uh, dashboard. So this is what you could look like with Agar Home, Speed Test, um, uh, a Portainer, a uh, File Browser. There's all different kinds of widgets and services that you can add. So um, there's all the features. And uh, you just change it with uh, YAML config files. So there's no UI to cu customize it, but they have a, a, a service widget, information widgets, and then they have the the information to set I set this all up. So you can go the Kubernetes clusters and uh, glances, Unify controller, different things like that. So it's fully customizable through the YAML config. So I made a gist, and it'll be down in the description a link for it to get to it easy. Um, so, here's the Docker Compose, so version 3.3 .3 of Docker Compose, so services underneath is going to be a home page, then we're going to get it from GitHub, and then Ben Phelps, a home page, and then we're going to get the latest version, container name is going to be home page, the ports exposed is going to be 7200 on the host side, and then 3000 in the container side. And then we're gonna set up volumes. So we're gonna set up data, homepage, config on the host side. And then in the container side is app config. And then we're, we're gonna hook into the docker.sock. So var run a docker.sock and then var run docker.sock row in the container side. So we're gonna copy this and we're gonna go over to Portainer now. Okay, I'm going to start with a fresh install of Portainer. I'm going to go to Home, then I'm going to Local, and then I'm going to go to Stacks right here. And Stacks are just Docker Compose underneath. But if you do want to know how to install Portainer, I've done uh, a videos on that. So it'll be down in the description. So I'm going to uh, add a stack. Then I'm going to go over here and name the stack. So Homepage, Stack. And then I'm going to scroll down to web editor right here. I'm going to paste in what I just explained in the last one on the gist. So it's going to start on 7200 port. So now I'm going to go ahead and press deploy stack down here. And then it has been deployed. So now we can go and look and see if it's starting and it is. So you can see logs, and it's listing on port 3000, so it should be up and running. So we have the stack up and running inside of Portainer. So I'm going to go to the homepage stack right here, and you can see it is running healthy. So homepage, and then you'll scroll down and you'll go to logs, and you can see it's listing inside on port 3000. So what your Portainer is going to do, as you're going to need to go to the Portainer IP and then 7200 on the, uh, the end. So, if you scroll down to port configuration right here, so it the host is 7200 and then inside the container is 3000 right here. So, we're going to go to the IP address of the Portainer and then we're going to add 7200 on the end. So, I'm going to go over here and it's the Portainer IP address and then the 7200. So we're going to go in here. So this is what it looks like when you first install it. And you can change all of this in your YAML config files. So now I'm going to show you where the config files are located. 
So we're gonna go back to stacks, then we're gonna to homepage, then we're gonna editor up here. And you can see on here, it's in data, homepage, and then config. So we're gonna copy that. And then we're gonna go over to our Proxmox or wherever you have a portainer installed. And you're gonna SSH into it and you're gonna to go to the data, homepage, config, and then you'll have all the config files there. So I'm gonna go over to my Proxmox and I'm gonna to go to the VM, the console, and then you'll see in here that I'll just paste in data homepage config and then you will be able to see your bookmarks, your Docker, a Kubernetes, your services. So you can go in here and you can cut these out and you can see that it's all changeable from the, uh, the YAML config files. And you'll change these but uh, you'll go over to the documentation of homepage, the one that I showed you before, and you can figure out what you want to add to your homepage. So I just showed you step-by-step -step on getting homepage installed on Portainer, and I also went over getting to the homepage from the port, and I went over the config location and how to change those. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you need any support or video, if you have any video suggestions, you can go on the Big Bear community down below and join our Discord. So stay tuned for more.